In this video, we'll go into detail about how to manage your PSP plugins that use iLock's system for authorization. When you buy an iLock plugin from PSP, you are granted three simultaneous licenses of the plugin. To get started, log into your user area on the PSP website, go to My Plugins, and copy the PACE authorization code to the clipboard. Make sure you have the latest version of the iLock License Manager, available from iLock.com. Always make sure you're fully updated by choosing Check for Application Update. Then, sign in. Use this button in the upper right corner to enter that activation code. You can simply hit Paste, so you don't have to type it manually. Once you've activated your PSP plugin, it now lives in your iLock user account forever. And as you can see here, since I haven't activated it yet, the Activations column shows zero of three activations used. From this point on, you don't need to go back to the PSP site's user area. You can manage all your authorizations from the iLock License Manager. So now I will show you two different ways to use your software licenses. The first method would be to do a software authorization on the computer I'm on right now. To use this method, drag the plugin from the list onto your computer's name. Now, this computer is authorized to use the plugin. The other method would be to use a physical iLock USB key, if you have one inserted into your computer. You can move a license for the plugin onto any available iLock that's currently plugged in. The license for the plugin now lives on that iLock, and if you move that iLock to another computer, the other computer will inherit the license. At the beginning of this video, we mentioned that PSP gives you three authorizations per plugin, so you can easily mix and match between those different authorization types. Some users who prefer the original physical iLock keys can drag three licenses onto three different iLock keys. Other users who have permanent studio machines can authorize specific machines. You don't have to make a decision immediately. Once the plugin has been added to your iLock account, those three activations will be available to you forever. So feel free to use just one method to get up and running with your first computer. Then you can come back and manage your second and third licenses at any point in the future, or move your licenses to a different method. You will always need to make sure that the latest iLock client software is installed and you are signed in on each computer you plan to use PSP plugins on. We hope this helps you understand the powerful capabilities of iLock's licensing system for PSP plugins. Please get in touch with us at support at if you have any further questions.